Hi there, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're going to be modeling silos in Revit. Um, there are obviously different types of silos. There's concrete and then there's aluminum and so on. So, But today we're going to concentrate on aluminum silos and we're just going to keep it as basic as we can. Uh, before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you already subscribed, hit that notification button because I upload BIM modeling tutorials three times every week. Now, without further ado, let's start with our project. So, the first thing is you're just going to open up a new construction template. And then you're going to expand your views and elevations. Then you're going to place, you're going to go to grids and then place one grid running across like this another one running up expand your views and expand your views for on the south elevation open up the south elevation extend it extend these levels and then change this to 30,000 millimeters now you're gonna open up level zero again and then under architecture you're gonna say wall and then you're gonna say curtain wall and t then you're gonna change your top level to level one select your circle place it on this in, uh, on where the grids intersect and then your radius you're gonna make it eight thousand millimeter and then if you open up the 3d view this is how it looks it's just a single panel as you can see so you're gonna select uh, your curtain wall go to edit type and then under your properties, you're going to go to vertical grid and horizontal grid. So you're going to change this to fixed distance and also this one. Except for the vertical grid, you're going to change it to 800 millimeters and then the horizontal, you're going to leave it as it is. Now for your mullions, you're going to change all of them to rectangular mullion, 30 millimeter radius, and square, and then you're going to do the same thing for all of them. Say apply and then OK. Then it can take it, it can take a while to render because uh, the spacing it's, it's it's very tight. So this is how it looks. Now, obviously, the next thing is we're gonna have to uh, uh, re, uh, replace the 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 system panel. So in order for us to do that, we're gonna have to hover over one panel, press tab. And then it's going to highlight the panel. Then you're going to select the panel, go to edit type, and then duplicate. You're going to name this one aluminium. Aluminium, say OK. And then under material, you're going to change it from glass. And then you can type in aluminium. And then you can make it aluminium, apply. And then thickness, I think it's fine at 25 millimeters, and then say OK. So you're going to select the entire thing now, go to edit type, and then under your construction properties, your curtain panel, you're going to change it to aluminium system panel. And then you're going to say apply, and then OK. Now it's going to be changed to aluminium. Now, after that, uh, before we construct our roof, you're going to go to level zero, and then you're going to go to structure, and then under foundation, you're going to say slab. Then you're going to go to edit type, duplicate. So I'm going to say, uh, then you're going to go to your uh, assembly. So I'm going to change my thickness to 1,500 meters. And then obviously in the material, I'm going to change it to concrete. So I'm going to change this one and make it with the cast in C2. I'll load it in, apply, and then OK. OK, and then OK. Select my circle from this point. So our radius is going to be 10,000. So our diameter is going to be uh, 20,000 millimeters. So this is how it looks. Now, the next thing is you're going to go to level one, which is where basically the start of the roof is. Uh, is uh, it's basically the start of our roof. Um, for our roof, you're going to go to architecture and say roof, obviously. Actually, yes, 
and then you're gonna scroll down under your properties and then you're gonna select roof sloped glazing you're gonna select your circle again and then let's go to level zero so that we can use these as our reference so we're gonna place it like this so make sure i'm gonna offset it a little bit outside of the walls and as you can see this symbol symbolizes the the slope of our, our of our pitch which is 30 degrees so you're gonna go to 3d vsa finish edit mode and this is how it looks so we're gonna apply the same logic that we did with uh, our walls the surrounding walls so you're gonna go to edit type and then for your grid margins, you're going to change also them to 30 millimeters, all of them. And then for your grids, you're going to change them to the same offsets that you did when it comes to your walls. So for your grid 1, I'm going to change them to 800 fixed distance. And then grid 2, I'm going to leave them at 1.5 and say apply. gonna say okay. Uh, okay let's select it again edit type uh, curtain panel i'm gonna change it to aluminium and then let's see for grid one i'm gonna change it to maximum spacing maximum spacing let's change this to eight apply and then okay so this is how it looks now, if I select it again, let me just go to edit tab. I, many, I change them from fixed distance to maximum spacing this time. So I'm gonna select, select these, um, these uh, grid mullions and then I'm gonna change them to square. Bye. Oh, so it's a bit tricky when I place our mullions, so that's why it's acting like this. But no worries, you can just go to your mullions and then you can place them manually like this. So you get the idea, you can just go to uh, Malians. And you just place them manually like this. So this is how it looks. So I can go to Malian again, and then I'm gonna place them just like this. Perfect. Now this is basically how it looks. Now that is it. That's your that's your basic silo. And obviously, I can just go to let me just go to insert load family. So I'm gonna load in my um, this ladder that I've downloaded. I'll leave the link in the description if you need the family. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna place it on face like this. Considering it's the entire um, height from the foundation to the start of the roof is 30,000, I'm going to change the elevation from level to, let's make it zero, let's see. So it's going to be set right there. The cage starting height, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it 2,000 millimeters. And then... The FF to top of decking, I'm gonna make it 30,000. Let's see. So it's gonna change like this. So it's gonna be 30,000 millimeters like that. So this is basically what we have. Um, I can just say, select the whole thing. So 
I'm going to select the whole thing. Deselect the levels, go to level zero, and then I'm going to copy this to the other side, offset it by 1,000 millimeters. And then another one by 18,000 millimeters. And go to the 3D view, and this is how it looks. Now, obviously, you know, when it comes to silos, they are like steel, they are walkways with uh, steel trusses that are protecting the workers on each side. So you can, you guys can attempt to, to, to model that. So the focus of today was just to show you how versatile it is uh, when you come, uh, the versatility of using curtain panels and curtain walls when it comes to different sets of um, structures and, and building and buildings. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope this short tutorial was very helpful. It wasn't a case of modeling silos per se, but showing you the versatilities on versatility on how you can use different sets of system families to model uh, what will serve you when it comes to your, your projects. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you on the next tutorial. Peace.